Oh, we're going to keep going on a few more things. All right, so um, the first T was what? Toughness. Second T? Third T is technique. So here's what I see. I go all over the country, around the country, bring guys in. You know, some guys may have come into our program, top recruits in the country. They're so fast. Their speed is unbelievable, how fast they are. And it's a blessing and a curse. Because in high school, the speed carried them through. The third T, let's say you love to lift weights, you eat weights in high school, or you shave since your freshman year, and you just weigh strong at everybody. Strength becomes a blessing and a curse because a lot of times we'll use it to dominate our opponent, but we're not learning what we should be learning. So the third T is technique. Technique, you can, and listen, they can, toughness is first for sure, and have one technique or side by side, but technique is king. Technique is king. Being in good position is, 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 is critically important. Technique always matters. If you're really fast, assess your position when you're getting in. What you, how are you hand fighting? How are you getting through his hands? All right, so let's keep going. So we're going to go, uh, we're going to go, oh, sorry. You look like this guy. Come here. Yeah, yeah. Same body. Same. All right, so I got a wrist. I got an inside tie. Now watch. I give him a little body fit. I don't let go of anything. I didn't let go of his wrist. I didn't let go of the inside top. I give him a little body fit. Simple wrestling. Wrestling 101. A control tie. A little fake. Now, I'm going to yoke him down. I'm going to walk back into my stance. Simple. I push. I get a little fake. I, I notice his hips come up a little bit. I'm just going to pull him down. You have two options. Stay on the wrist and pull it. Watch my lead toe, please. Watch my lead toe. Notice how it stays behind my knee. I'm not doing this. It stays behind my knee. I pull him down into the front headlock. Run on him. Keep his head down. Run on him. Keep his head down. If he doesn't bite, you're fake. So in this scenario, when I fake, he bit on him. He lowered. He got lower, so I just pull him right into my armpit. Okay, if he doesn't bite on it, I gotta release the wrist. If he bites, don't release the wrist. I'm assessing. I'm, I'm so focused on what I'm doing out here. I, let me ask you something. Anybody here have a house that has a garage? Does anybody have a garage door opener? Does anybody park their car in a garage? Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. And when you're out there wrestling, you're so focused on the next position in your garage, let's say you get in your car, you start the car, and you open the garage door opener. You click the button, and the garage door starts to come up. Do you pull out? What do you do? You wait. You assess. Right? So look, I, I, I push, and I think I'm assessing. I'm constantly, I'm in high alert. Are you with me? This is the difference between good and great. This is, this is the number one differentiator. The number one differentiator. Can you stay focused in the moment? Or is your mind thinking about how tired you are? Or are you thinking about how important this match is? Other than just what? Just wrestle. Think about the wrestling. Inside Tyrus, look, I give him a little fake. He doesn't buy it. Look, he doesn't buy it. See his head height? I, I can feel his head height. I don't fake and then try to shoot. I'm gonna run into his head and his hands. I fake, I assess. Oh, it's right there. Pull him down. Run him. Questions? I know it's basic, but it's really important. Stay in position, stay powerful, push him backward, fake, either pull him directly down or snap him. One, two, three.